In this build, I'm replacing the Intel 9700F with a Ryzen 9 5950X. I'm replacing the old Tough Gaming B365M motherboard with an MSI X570 Unify. For the power supply, I'm going with a Seasonic Prime GX850 80 plus gold. Has a 12 year warranty, it's fully modular and should give me all the power I need in the foreseeable future. As I get all the cables connected, I soon realize that this power supply isn't going to fit into the base of the case, mainly due to the riveted brackets and also a corner joint that prevents it from going into the slot. Off camera, I decide to disconnect everything, put the power supply in first, and then connect the cables. You can see in the top left that I got the power supply to fit, but I'm still not happy with the way the cables have to sit at a harsh angle in order to cram it in there. In the meantime, I install the motherboard. I currently have an inexpensive heatsink and fan on the CPU. Uh, not ideal for the 5950. Until I can get a liquid Arctic AIO, this will just have to be a placeholder. Here you see me trying to finagle this motherboard into place, and the whole time it was just being held up by the 24 pin. I get it screwed down, put the RAM in, and then decide to address this power supply issue. Back over to this incredible cable management. I really don't want to think about those cables being pressed up at a 90 degree angle against that riveted bracket. Let's get it out. In the meantime, I put the old RTX 2070 back in, connect the remainder of the cables, and remove the power supply. So I decide on the Frankenstein approach, this actually gives me more peace of mind than the way it was before. I did have to use a flash drive to update the BIOS. And once I did so, I had no issues with it posting. This motherboard in particular has an XMP light. Now in the BIOS, everything seems to be displaying correctly. I've got the old RAM in with XMP initialized at a speed of 3000 megahertz. Here's the BIOS version. This is the beta version. It recognizes the 5950X at 3.4 gigahertz. Storage, it's recognizing the new 970 EVO two terabyte drive. Now we're gonna restart it and boot into Windows. This is on the beta BIOS. If I have any issues, I'll make a video about it. That's if my computer still works. But for the time being, I've used it for about two days. I haven't had any issues and we're just booting into Windows. Here's a quick look through hardware monitor and task manager. Right now I have Streamlabs running in the background recording this. As soon as I started Streamlabs, the temperature went up to 70. Until I get better cooling, I'll keep the loads light on this and I won't stress it out too much. I've already done some gaming in Call of Duty Cold War, no issues there. I ran Scum, no issues there. And also I've done some video editing in Premiere, which has been a huge boost, exactly what I wanted this for, so I'm really excited to get using it. There's all 16 cores, 32 threads. Thanks for watching the video, thanks for following this build so far, and I'll run some more of that B-roll that ate the majority of my camera battery.